Ladies and gentlemen, here come your Class 3A Boys State Bowling Tournament qualifiers. I grew up bowling junior league, and uh, I really started getting into this side of it when I started working for the Iowa Bowling Proprietors in 2004. Um, club sport had just started in 2000, so I was able to assist in um, Iowa stipends and transportation, things like that, uniforms. And uh, the bowling proprietors all around the state of Iowa, they were able to, they contributed lineage to our players and money too, to support the sport. And eventually the girls athletic union took it, and three years later the boys, and I was able to assist in running state tournament. Last year, my dad's always been into bowling, my entire family's always been into bowling, and so last year, right before the season started, actually a week, before I was like, hey, I kind of want to start bowling. And so then we got all the equipment, we went out, I joined the league, and that's kind of just how it started. When I was 10, my dad brought me because he wanted to practice for his league, and I saw how he curved the ball, and I just wanted to learn how to do that. Well, I started bowling when I was younger than six years old, but six years old is about the last time I can remember. It's amazing like that this year. We didn't know if we were gonna even be able to do this. We didn't know if we were even gonna have a season at all. So it was very kind of, I guess you could say like scary, not knowing if I was gonna have uh, my last season for senior year. So it's, it feels great and amazing that I'm able to bowl. The biggest deal to me is I didn't have high school bowling and I'm a bowler. And to see everyone competing on a, the same level as a basketball player or a wrestler or a football player um, is amazing and I love the energy it brings. Um, also it's a lifetime sport so it's very rewarding. You get a really close bond and there's not really a lot of words to describe it. You just get really close over the season because like that Baker games you have to depend on each other. You can't just depend on one person. Uh, the teammates really. Um, it's very enjoyable when you have good teammates around you. A lot of positivity. When you're with your team, bowling's just really fun. Like, you care about the score, but you're also communicating, just talking. It's just really fun together. It's a sport for everyone. Um, take our team, for instance. There's a football player next to a math club person, next to a show choir person, next to a dancer, a diver. You can be anyone and be a bowler and then carry it into the rest of your life. It's our goal that we turn out a 90-year-old bowler. I've been a lot, this is my first time going to state. I've been on the um, softball team for a couple years now and we haven't gone to state since I've been on the team, so it means a lot to go to state for bowling. Well, today was pretty emotional since it's my last time bowling. Nerve-wracking. All the other years, it's been nerve-wracking, but not as bad as today. Today was the day that we wanted to win so bad to go out with a bang. It felt good because I got to this point where I, I was one of the best to be be able to come here and just felt really good and I don't know next year I hope to do better too. I felt very anxious. <laughs> I After singles I was really hoping to get top five really but and then they were starting calling names I started getting even more anxious when they called like top five and then top two came up and they said like 450 something and that's when I knew I got first and so then everyone started looking at me my coaches started talking got me very anxious. Definitely, it, it is such a huge accomplishment. Like today, I didn't even plan on placing. And then I got second and that was exciting. I didn't realize I was gonna get second until they called out 10th place. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm placing somewhere. That's, that's exciting. And then we didn't know if we were gonna win today or not. When they called second place, we just all just stopped and started crying. That was a, a big honor. Um, when our athletic director, Josh Toby, called me and told me the news, I said, Josh, I'm blushing. <laughs> but what a great honor and what a great sport. If you're not doing it, you should definitely give it a try. Talk to people that are there. I'm sure they'll be willing to help you. There's a lot of people that are willing to help people just to learn how to bowl and to get into the sport. It's been amazing. It's, it's a feeling that I'll never forget moving forward.